the first game in the Good Against Evil tournament. Between Rambo picking the uh, Man of the West against Eternal the Engma faction on the map Sakura, For Sakura Forest 2 is all about to begin. And yeah, and also that's gonna be the first time we see Sakura Forest in this channel. I've never seen this map before. I've seen when uh, Solas was making the map, but I don't know the final form. I hope your graphics are high. Yeah, they are high. Oh, that looks actually beautiful. Look at this. I'm using the ultra settings, you know? They are looking at this really great map. At the bottom right, we have the green Man of the West player Rambo, and his opponent at the top left is the yellow Angma player Eternal. And yeah, this is a brand new map. All right. <clears throat> First thing that um, I always notice when Eternal is playing, um, he has a weird way of starting with his first two farms. As you can see, his third mill right now is going to be in a pretty mediocre spot. It's definitely not going to be ideal. Yeah, he's going to go put it in the back. All of the Kingsman is coming up uh, after two mills. The third mill is coming up as well. At, this, at the bottom right side, we have a stable start. What do you think about that start against Engma? Mm, I think it's a good thing to start with in a tournament because most players would expect you to play safe. So that might catch Eternal off guard. Okay, let's see. I mean, it's going to be potentially stable delete or will he keep up the stable? No, oh, he definitely deletes it. Okay. All right, so the Gondonites, they're going to be mobile. So it's a long way to go, actually. I mean, this map is not like Forts of Eisen. You need to kind of walk... Special guest, thank you for the bidi. Uh, Special you underscore the underscore underscore guest cheered X1. Greetings. Thank you for the, for the bit donation of one bit <laughs> thanks a lot that guy all right gandabad warriors that's actually good for rambo i think the stable is still up on the field ah there we go there we go okay so the important thing here is engma of course always makes orcs first you can't prevent that but um Ideally, you want to hide the calf until the second throw master has been used, and he used it, and it's not pikes, so that's really good for a Rambo. Yeah, that's amazing, actually. Uh, this mill is gonna go down. On the bright side, Eternal will be able to get this war clear. Mm -hmm. I mean, he demolished the mill, so Gondor Knights were not able to get any experience, and also almost no power points. Oh, is he gonna trample? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but... That's oh, annoying. Okay. And he gets the axes. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. Oh, but he needs to be uh, careful. Don't risk the biscuit. Oh, wow, uh -oh. the builder actually blocked him. Oh, look, he's losing so much. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's okay, not happy yeah, that with was, that. That was greedy. It was greedy, yeah. And how, he didn't even deal any any damage to those extra wars. <clears throat> that's unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, so... Well, he gets the money from the creep that basically makes up for the one lost mill. Yeah. But at least the knights stay alive. I mean, he's gonna try to pressure, but he won't be able to take down this mill. The problem is that half the battalion is pretty much gone from those Gondor Knights, so he will be forced to make a well, I think, at his side of the map to heal them up. Because when you make a stable delete, you don't want to lose your Gondor Knights. Especially that early into the game, that's gonna be very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. um, Rallying Call and Warchant are both ready, and it looks like Eternal is going for an attack with Gundabats, Extrovers and a Pikeman. Okay. Should what do you think? Is this going to be a great attack? Because I think Gondor archers and soldiers, they're going to be out in time. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. Should be fine. But um, the Gundabats in the south are actually the bigger threat. They will definitely kill a farm here. So he has to decide what he wants to protect, it seems. Yeah. Maybe he should be using the Gondor knights to deal with them. Yeah. Okay, Warchan was used from Eternal. Rallying Coal is still available. He didn't use it. Eternal actually dealing decent amount of damage. Oh, he's using Rallying Call only on the soldiers. Ah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Gondor Archers are still unbuffed, so they are not gonna deal that much damage. Uh, Eternal should be using the uh, Hold Ground Stance with those warriors, I think. Okay, so... He killed soldiers, now he gets out of there. I think he wants to creep more works. Yes. Meanwhile, the knights die completely, it seems, yep. And oh. those soldiers will also get trampled. Very well done here from Eternal, dealing decent amount of damage and not over committing. He's gonna go 
from this area, I think. He was also able to take down out two farms with the Scandal Bats mm -hmm. at the bottom right side. They are almost level 4. Pretty good. The Wolf Riders oh, are taking care. another. Oh yeah, he's gonna take this one as well. Oh, that's huge, actually. Yeah. Very well done here from Eternal. And the Gondonites didn't pay off. Yeah, that that is the big thing to look back to. That was definitely not executed as good as it could have been. Didn't use rallying call on his horses either. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, I think the attempt to trample the extrovers was kind of, you know, quite risky. Uh, it's not worth, even though, I mean, you might have a chance to take them down, but is it really worth to take the risk and to lose yeah. your Gondonites instead, I, you know, in exchange? I don't think so. Yeah, it's very tempting though. I mean, ideally you kill the axes, then you get out of there again, kill another farm. But yeah. he paid the price. I mean, right now, guys, we have 350 command points only for the Man of the West player Rambo. On the other side, 450 command points for Eternal. He has almost six power points now against barely three. So he has a massive lead in terms of that as well. The Wolf Riders are putting in some nice work. There are no pikemen around, however. They are not. They are just coming out from the barracks from Rambo. Okay, I mean, he's kind of now being surrounded. Can't really leave his side of the... Um, side of the map anymore in the meantime eternal is just expanding and taking more and more creeps was just able to get this creep here as well it looks really good for the angma play i would say yeah just shouldn't mess it up now you know don't sacrifice anything take your lead yeah play smart <clears throat> don't go for bad trades uh, those pikemen from the men of the west play are creeping the work layer around this area that's gonna be Give him some kind of decent amount of resources. I mean, he has not, um, he has actually, you know, a lot of units out of the field, so it's gonna be, um, it's gonna need more than this, what Eternal has, I think, to deal the damage he needs. His pikemen, soldiers, and more and more archers are coming from the archery range. Yeah, one thing to note is that when man plays with this barracks archery range style, it's very easy to recover fast and to get a lot of units out. So don't underestimate the comeback potential. But Let's I like the way he's doing now. Down. Look at this, he's actually attacking now from two different sides. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think that Rambo can afford to split his army that much. Oh, not quite. This farm is gonna go down for sure at the bottom left side. He's just showing up and he doesn't take the fight, I like it. Eternal around yeah. the top right side, it's smart. Yeah. Also just picks one farm with the wolf army and gets out again. Yeah pressure you know and i liked also the way that he's expanding with those mills and we have actually right now 550 command points available he has seven power points should he go for the velvin what do you think yeah always always right oh that was a bad trample he almost lost every wolf rider there into the pikeman yeah the wolf packs however are putting in some nice work against those spearman units or oh, arch are taking also a lot of damage but now they should be running away yeah that's gonna be the case mm -hmm. Might lose one battalion though. Ah, never mind. He will be able to save them as well. But they are not level two. They, that means they won't be recovering. Should would you go in a situation like this for the banner carry upgrade in your Hall of the Kingsman? Yes. He has all the freedom to do that right now. Yeah. Galvin is picked. I mean, Man of the West is kind of doing good in terms of defense. He doesn't lose too much. But to be honest, he doesn't have much to lose. Right now. Very true. One thing to point out, of course, is that this is not the hardest map to defend on because you have this little high ground and three ramps. Yeah, but true. at the same time, you can only make so many farms here. So Rambo right now, he is on five. He tries to squeeze in a six farm on the high ground, but that is already only producing 12 resources. Yeah, that's not very effective. Okay, Marketplace is coming up for the Man of the West player to boost his eco. Um, would you instead go maybe for the upgrade? Ah, he can't, his command points capped anyway, so he can't make more units right now. Maybe he should, mm. you know, get those elite arches instead. What do you think about a hero right now for mm. Rambo? Um, well, it's a really tough call right now. I would go Rangers, as you said, yes. Because I don't think it's reasonable to leave your base still. Thank you so much for the resub. By the way, Hisoka, I forgot to say thank you to you, my friend. Thank you for the resub for 10 months. 
And Benzi, thank you for the resub for seven months. Appreciate it. The V's Namni underscore Drew just resubscribed okay, for seven months. Fights. Not Ahoy, a good win. go Imperialist Vohayo beyond 53 Isen. The trample is good. Oh, that's really good. Very well done, actually. But the archers are being actually in a safe spot. Oh, they are not protected at all. <laughs> oh, nice. Very well done here from Eternal with the Wolf Riders. He was, however, not able to one-shot them, and Rambo is going to call it GG. That's yeah. going to be game number one, guys. Maybe with his statue, he could have survived that, but even then, I think that would only prolong the inevitable. I think so as well. I mean, he had a really bad start, and Eternal did, no, did make no mistakes. The second game is going to be Engmar by Rambo, and Eternal will be picking the Elven faction on this edited map at Morris. Which was picked by Eternal. The first map was picked from Rambo. And if you know Rambo can somehow win this game, we're gonna have to tiebreak a game again on the map for of Eisen. But what do you think about Elves against Engma? I think this is a quite balanced matchup, right? Um at the moment, yeah, it seems pretty good. Um definitely one of the matchups where elves are not necessarily favored, as most people would say. Yeah. What is new in this map, Solas? What is uh, changed? Okay, so... First of all, I think the person who edited this map is in your chat. That would be Doggy. So he could confirm what I'm about to say. I think we removed um, two of those uh, neutral towers, you know, the garrisonable ones. Mm -hmm. And we switched some lair layers around. Um, I think some goblins got or some whites got replaced i'm not sure about the exact details but it's just a lot less annoying to play now all right so we have still two ints they are both protected by the white, uh, white layer and we have two troll creeps and two goblin creeps mm -hmm. doggy thank you for the follow <laughs> appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> all right two mills into the hall of the kingsman into the third mill from the angma player rambo 4000 and on the left side we have eternal going for a stable what do you think about stable again you know with the elven faction especially because that's something we don't see that quite often and normally going for the barracks and spamming infantry units instead well it's basically the same starting situation right it's not that much different from man of the west again gotta pay attention to the same thing does rambo use his second thrall master blindly or will he save it for pikes yeah other than that, I think the map is a little bit harder to execute calf harassment on because the bases are a little bit more in the corner. That's true. A bit harder to get into. Thank you for the follow, Chartai Gunanch. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, pretty much that what Sola said. Small terrain changes, but mostly the neutrals and layers got changed. Okay, thank you for the for the input, Doggy. Appreciate it. Elves OP saying Mr. Smog in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, Elves are OP. They make you even rage quit rise off the Witch King Smoky. What can I say? But you are back at it again, so... I mean, it's, it looks like you can live with it, right? Okay, now it was a stable delete. He is replacing the stable with the barracks and using mm. those lancers to defend against those Gandabad warriors. He should be able I to deal with them. That's already good for Engma, I think because it's very unlikely that you kill a tree anyway this early on and now he knows what's going on so yeah and he did not use his second thrall he's only now using it and he makes some pikes smart move from rambo we have warchand and rallying cold being available for both the players obviously there are not too many choices actually i mean so that's what i wanted to ask you all the time sometimes mm -hmm. like rarely but sometimes i see alvin players starting with the foresight instead of rallying cold in Rise of the Witch King. I mean, it makes sense mm -hmm. in BFME too, but, you know, why you would start instead of Rallying Cole with the Foresight ability? Is there, a, is there any reason to start with that? Um, well, if you use it, then you have to play a super defensive, obviously. Um, also, just because the power lends itself to defensive play because you know where the opponent is going to be coming from. But other than that, it's not super viable. So most okay. of the time, like, you would always start with the rallying call, right? Yup. Okay, I mean, that was a great defense here from Rambo. He was able to keep this mill alive. Also a smart move to build the wall up, but he needs to cancel it now. Otherwise, it's mm -hmm. going to be 100% pretty soon. He also was able to take down one of the Malon trees, and he's going to take the second one as well. 
in the meantime, yeah. he's not losing any mills. That's really great. Yeah, and Eternal made a very early statue here. I think a bit earlier than is good for his economy right now. I think he was afraid of a direct attack. Okay, Alvin Archers, they should be able to deal with them. He was able to save one of those battalions, so he's gonna put them at the corner at the, bottom, at the top left side. So they will be recovering over time. Uh, hello, welcome to the stream, Vulkas. Long time no see, my friend. How are you doing today? <clears throat> yeah, I think it looks great for now, right? For the Angmar player. He has 400 command points against 360. He has a power point. Power point wise, it's actually super identical. Yep. Also, Elf has no way to damage any buildings right now until the horses are healed up. So, nothing to worry about for Angmar. Gets probably another tree as well in the north. Yeah, that's gonna be the case. Uh, the Lancers, they are trying to take down those warriors at the top left side, but you know, he's just buying time. Which is great. I mean, the Lancers, they didn't pay off, just like in the previous game, when Rambo was trying to go for them, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And... Ah, Engma is untouched, and we know Engma is one of the strongest factions in the late game, with the with the Dark Rangers and Longshots combination, I mean Felvin combination. I also thought this map would just be fitting to add into your tournament, because it would be the Engma map, probably. Theme-wise, you know, snow is in the north and everything. Snow, yeah, because they have snow behind Felvins, this kind of stuff, snow trolls. Snow trolls, I mean, that those kind of uni those units we didn't see that quite often lately. I like to see them though. Ricards, welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Um, Another tree down. I would say that Elvin player is playing super defensively, but maybe he doesn't have a, any other choice right now. Yep. Okay, that's a bad fight near the statue from the Angmar player. Should yeah. get out of there. A camping situation here. So he can't wow. really fight at this spot, I think, without having any elite archers maybe in the back. Mm hmm. Eternal um, trying to get his lances to level 2. He's creeping the goblin lair once the experience. Will this be enough to hit level 2? Good question. Um, I don't think so. I don't Let's think see. so. Well, it's going to be close, but... I think they're going to miss like... Uh, it's not even close. Oh, no. Yep. Strange. Um, he's okay. creeping the white, white lair at the inn. Nice. And I like the way that Rambo is also able to save his units. Look at the right side, you know, top right side. He was able to save yep. another battalion of those spearmen. Expanding quite nicely as well. 500 command points against 460. He has also power points lead now over a power point. Can go for the Felvins, which might be necessary. Um, question, Solas. When you have now Dark Rangers with the level 2 from the Banner Carrier, and you go mm -hmm. for a long shot, Felvins, and the Elven units are close to the statue. Will they die when they are buffed from the Rallying Call as well? No, right? Depends how many long shots. Like Not from one. Or three, like three or four you will need, right? To kill them. Yeah, um, if the Elven player is good, he switches everything into whole ground stance when it happens. So I think then... I think you need four, yeah. But you can still deal decent amount of damage and disable them. Uh, you should be also trying to take down the statue as fast as possible, I think. Yep. By the way, I think Rambo was listening to your wishes. We are getting snow trolls. Oh, beautiful. There we go. I think they are really great, actually, against elves. I mean, yeah, he has a lot of pikemen now. I, he has actually a lot of pikemen. Look at this. He has three battalions mm -hmm. of pikemen or three battalions of archers. So he has enough protection now for them. Yeah, it's a bit of a more risky choice from Engma. I think it would have been much safer to just go Waldar. Because Snow Trolls, they don't necessarily have to do any damage to his main army, right? If the Elf protects it, it doesn't have to pay off in instantly. Um, yeah, I mean, what's, what should be the plan? I would maybe, you know, Snow Trolls into the Dark Rangers. I, I would say you um, need Dark Rangers, right, in, a, in this matchup? Uh, you can do without them for quite a while. Um... Right now, Rambo is just all over the place, and Eternal's army is in one place, and it's attacking. And also note, in front of the production spot of Rambo, there's a lot of trees, so that may be a hard spot to fight at for Engma. That's true. And he has also rallying call ability available. He can also even pick uh, and go for heal. Uh, we have definitely the power points we need for the Felvins. He has Warchant ready as well. Snow trolls are coming, so what he can potentially do is use Felvin and trample the archers. It's a risky play. Yeah. 
hard to do. Let's see what he's gonna achieve here. It's not close at only level one. I think in a situation like this, it's always nice to get the bell. Oh, there we go. It's gonna go trample. Oh, nice. Oh, but well, that. you can't trample if it's on the ground, so. Okay. Getting into the back line, trying to deal as much damage as possible with the slow trolls. But the lances are coming here now. And Engmar has no pikes. Uh, good heal. But I, the slow trolls actually survive quite long. Yeah. Not focused down. You're gonna die now, though. He's trying to disengage, maybe? Nah, never mind. Okay, I like the way he's playing with those lancers. They are actually winning the fights. Hardly mm -hmm. for the album player, Eternal. Okay, meanwhile though, we have Wildman harassing from both sides in the Elven base. He has killed quite a few farms. Yeah, he's gonna lose another Malon tree here, which was all about to hit level 2. And even snipe down those archers as they are coming out of the barracks. Uh, and the great great part is that, you know, this Elven army is not gonna be able to take down structures. I mean, yeah. he has Lancers, so they can do some work. But archers, they are dealing almost zero damage. And this is one of the changes also, right, from the version 8.3. Elven warriors or archers in general are not able to creep the war layer anymore. Mm -hmm. Or they no are archers. not dealing damage to the layer. Yes. yes. Which is actually okay. a, you know, a, a nerf to the elven faction in this case. To all archers, yeah, but especially elves. Lord Findel is joining now, the fights. Nice. But Eternal is down to four farms only while all of this happens. So that was a good example of Elf focusing on only one fight and leaving everything else behind and Engma may be losing the fight but he got all the eco in the meantime. He's losing the single fight but he's winning the map control fight, Ooh. that's really important. We have 495 command points only for Eternal against 825. Oh, oh. Snow trolls trampling all the Lorien archers and oh. also Eternal made a huge mistake with his lances trampling into pikes so Oh, Within okay. one second, he lost half of his army right there. That's true. He has only, yeah, he has not much left anymore. And the Snow Trolls, they keep doing what they are doing. They are even, yeah, they are pretty much not damaged at all. They can, yeah, I like it. I like it. Where are, there, there are no pikemen. Where are the pikemen from yeah. Eternal? Did they all die? Yeah. Okay, I mean, the Snow Trolls, they can actually, oh, mist was used. No, this is from the Fortress, right? Yeah. Yes. From the Fortress, the upgrade. And Eternal is being surrounded, guys. He's being surrounded. And at the very same time, look to command points here from the Engma player, Rainbow 4000. He has 825 command points. White Special Summon is gonna be ready. Belvin is gonna be ready. Warchen is gonna be ready. And on top of that, six more power points collected. So he has a massive lead in terms of uh, power points as well. He has the upper hand. Uh, he can now go for the... What should be the next move from the Engma player? Should he go for the Dark... Yeah, he's upgrading the whole of the Kingsman to level 2 now can do that. I would still go Walder first, but basically he can just chill now and get whatever he wants. And I think Banner Carry Upgrade is, makes now much more sense. It's really cheap, it only costs you 400 of a cash, and then you can also upgrade those Snow Trolls. Level yes. 2, they will unlock the charge attack. And obviously the, the Dark Rangers as well. The Builder from the album play will be sniped down at the bottom left side, look at this. Then I go mm -hmm. down. Oh, <laughs> close. Yeah, but he's not going to be able to get away. Okay. Unfortunate. That's, that's always a bad move. If your builder is about to die and you try to save it with a farm, don't try because then you just lose 300 more resources than you do anyway. Yeah. You just lost that as well. Uh, Glorfindel is only level 1 still. He's really close to level 2, but to be really strong and effective, he needs to get level 3. I mean, it should mm -hmm. not be a big deal for Glorfindel as he is a really powerful hero. Uh, but Eternal is... Kind of in a bad situation. He needs to definitely do something about the map control as Engma players getting a lot of money and resources. Pretty much uncontested and for free. It's a massive army. Building up towers as well now. Okay. Eternal sending out Glorfindel on a single mission. Yeah. Horses joining him. And there are no pikemen around, but snow trolls are here. Snow trolls, they are pretty weak, I think, against Glorfindel. Correct me if I'm wrong. So that's. But yeah, I, mean, I think Glorfindel is really him. strong against Kev, right? Yes. But he was able to keep this mill alive. Okay, White Special oh. Summon and Felvins will be used around this area. 
11 and a half power points collected by Eterno. What's gonna be the move? What he's gonna go for? Maybe Enchanting Mist? What do you think? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm not a fan of this move. He no. used his wind and his whites without any other army being there from him, so now the Elven units will just go back and heal up. That's true, and kind of uncontested. I mean, he's they, there is no follow up, so you can't pressure the structures. And the whites, they have a, long, uh, a lot of cooldown. So they won't be ready any soon, but in terms of map control, I like the way he's playing. We are talking about the Engma player Rambo. He's building up a lot of towers as well. He has, I see two towers, one of them in the middle, one of them at the bottom oh. left side. The whites actually killed a builder from Eternal. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> okay, he lost two builders already. And that's actually a big feels, they cost 480 each. And most, more importantly, I think the time. You can't do anything when you don't have a builder. You can't expand. And replace your structures and if you take a look into those malon trees there is on there is not a single malon tree from uh, there is one in the back though only one of them is level two unlike the mills look there is a level three mill here level two almost level three mill i, I see two level three mills here's now dark iron forge going for the trollstone towers and i think he's gonna be ready to siege pretty soon oh glorfindel yeah. is might be in trouble will is he, he die to the tower oh oh, oh close well if only he had saved that wind. Oh, he, he even used the heal. I think that was kind of not necessary. Yeah. He was able to get away anyway. Okay, he went okay. for the Alvin Wood as well, so he didn't go for the Enshrouding Mist. Uh, makes sense as well, because maybe he's planning on taking the next fight at his fortress, where he already has a mist. Yeah, oh, that's true. Okay, but I think that's not gonna happen. This fight is gonna happen around this area for sure. Look look at the top right side, Solas. There is one mill being protected by two battle towers. <laughs> well. That's cost efficiency, I think. Okay, looks like he's forcing Eternal to fight now. Yeah. I mean Eternal has still a strong army, but he should yeah. choose he should fight around this area because now he's not in the range of the stage and doesn't get any leadership. Rallying Call was used. Heal is on cooldown, remember it was used before on Glorfindel. Stone Throwers are knocking down those Lorian Archers on the ground. Yeah. Dealing wow, massive damage actually. actually. Yeah, wow. But other than that, the Anglo army is really not very impressive. Like, it's a lot of random units with no real purpose, I feel like. That's true. Yes, a lot of units that are idle doing nothing. You see at the bottom left side, at the Battle yeah. Tower, Snow Trolls, uh, Gandabats and Wildmen. Uh, one troll stone thrower, they are both forced to retreat. This is gonna go down for sure. There is no protection, so you need to have some archers to protect your siege weapons against the uh, pikemen. But or some warriors in the front line. But one thing it's to today. fight around this area. Yeah. And stone throwers, surprisingly good against Lorian archers. And look, Blight is gonna be ready. And Blights and Felwyn, that's gonna be massive. Oh yeah, that That's should be, be massive. That should be actually a game. I think we're gonna jump into the game number three, guys, in the series. I don't see a coming back from this situation anymore for Eternal. Um, yeah, we have Hall of the Kingsman level three. He's going for the Black Numenorians, by the way, instead of Dark Rangers. That's kind of questionable. I mean, kind of makes sense also. Uh, never mind, he has still some Lancers and Glorfindel. Um, what do you think about the hill trolls? Yeah, he's going for hill trolls as well. So hill trolls, uh, you know, elite pikemen and elite swordsmen are coming from Engma. Yeah, I guess he just wants to make every unit Engma has once. Uh, besides, um, you know, besides the uh, sorcerers. <laughs> once, <laughs> yeah. Okay, he's going even for the upgrades in his forge. Just why not? He has so much resource income, guys. He has full command points, by the way, against 425. Okay. Lights, Light. there we go. Now wins. Okay, seems good. Oh, yep. Ah, that's... Mm. Yes, though. <laughs> Look at this. I, I love the combinations you have with the Engma faction. There are so many. Mm -hmm. Look at this, guys. Our, this is the true army of the dead, by the way. Elven Wood will be used defensively. I mean, you can use all you want because you don't have any more units left, right? Almost. What, what does he have left? He has only Lancers, I think. And one battalion yeah. of... Archers. Eternal fighting till killed. the end. He killed the last catapult though, so it's gonna take a bit longer, I guess, unless he just leaves. I mean, can he not just commit to the fortress with the blades? He already purchased the blades and the armor. Oh, does he? Yeah. Really? He 
You did so. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. Then you can. Eichmann are not in oh, position. Great trample here with Glorfindel and those um, Lancers. They have also the Alvin Armor purchased from the Forge. They didn't go for the Forge Blades though. And now heal trolls are coming, so they will be impossible to deal with. Uh, especially not with those Lancers. Eternal okay. is trying to fight for the map control with those Lancers, but it might be too late for that. Yeah, I think I'm starting to see Eternal's last plan here. He probably wants to get Entsumon and attack the fortress with Glorfindel and that. But I think even if he somehow manages to kill the fortress, which is easier said than done, because Engmar can always go for the Snowbind and deny that. Yep. Uh, but even if he somehow manages to kill the fortress, that's not going to change the fact, I think, that he's going to lose this unless... I mean, in a situation like this, I don't think that Eternal, you know, playing really great will be enough to win this game. It needs yes. more than that, you know? <laughs> like, Rambo has to troll, tro you know, throw every lead he has. Okay. Okay, he's going for the banner carry upgrades now. Oh, uh, horses charging into pikes. Okay. Lost a couple of them, but was able to save both the battalions. Yeah. Oh, he's running into the tower, though, with one of them. The two towers. Oh, no. Lord of the Rings and the two towers, by the way. <laughs> Black Numenorians are fighting against those uh, Lancers. That's not a fight you want to take. Unlike the uh, half throw Swordsmen, they are able to get trampled down. They can't win against them. Glorfindel well, is level 4. They still live? Still live, yeah. They have armor, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have the heavy, uh, heavy armor purchased. Hill trolls. I mean, I don't like the fact that Rambo is sending out his units one by one. And using Warchan now on a single battalion of hill trolls doesn't make too much sense for me as well. He's gonna summon, he's gonna commit fully to that. Even whites are coming. Which is kind of yeah. questionable. Let's see how much damage they will be able to deal. He's committing to the forge. Um, has a lot of health, so it's gonna take a while. What? What was that? Oh, only Glorfindel it was. What the heck? Yeah, he really wants that forge. Okay, he's gonna be able to take it down. <laughs> but the thing is that you know it doesn't really matter because he doesn't have any units on the field anyway to upgrade. <laughs> yeah, the ones on the true. field are already upgraded. Okay, he's committing mm -hmm. now. Just you know, I would just make some more siege weapons. And some archers protect, then go for the for the for the victory. But I think he doesn't want to make some siege weapons. We bring spears from I mean, it Eternal has almost has... 15 power points, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Rambo is still making a lot of thrall masters, which I don't understand. Don't need that at this point. What do you think? Will Eternal go for the? Oh, he's charging into the pikemen again. Ouch. He's actually lucky that he was able to save them all the time. Yes, mm -hmm. two battalions now. Made another one, I think. Or, or did he have three to begin with? Uh, two, I think. They were both able to survive in this case. Okay, this Malone tree is gonna go down. He's rebuilding the forge. Oh. That's all he can do. I mean, he can't even make more units because he's gonna be commander points cap pretty soon. He has only two Malone trees left. Yes, now 15 power points can go for the ends and try to take down the fortress. But again, you know, Engmar can just answer that with picking the snow vines. Yeah, and the elf fortress. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cloud break! Wow, that's not going to win you a game. Delay, but not deny. Yeah. yeah. 17 power points collected by the Engmar player. Eternal is calling it GG. Okay. And that's going to make the score even again. One one. And we will have the tiebreaker game on the map Forts of Eisen. But first of all, we're gonna spin our wheel to see who's gonna pick the who's gonna play the good faction and who has to play the evil faction. So we're gonna put the names in the spin. We're gonna spin and the first one who comes out will be able to pick the good faction. If Rambo gets it, he's gonna pick his Man of the West. Um, if Eternal picks it, gets it, he's gonna pick the Alban faction again. Uh, you know what I don't like when someone is calling uh, when when someone is saying GG well played and doesn't leave. You know, <laughs> was just about to say that. <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Evolo. Appreciate it. Hope you're gonna enjoy your stay. 
Eternal is like, you know, beating the GG World Fleet. Maybe he waits, you know, until Rambo leaves and then he's like, I won. Okay, now finally Dark Rangers are here. I like it. Even though they are not even needed. Because there is no fight against, you know, army against army. And since all the units he has left are pretty much uh, those Lancers, you can also just spam Hill Trolls. Go for the Forge. Kind of lazy here from Rambo, I need to say. Very lazy. Okay, now okay, he leaves the go. game. It's gonna be GG. Alright guys, the last game, the game number 3 in the round of 16 between Eternal against Rambo is all about to begin. It's gonna be Rambo Men again. And Eternal once uh, this time will be playing his Angmar faction. Like mentioned before several times, it's gonna be on the map for of Aizen. So, good against evil so far. We have 100% win, win and uh, kill participation for the evil factions. Let's see if the man faction from Rambo can, ch can change that. What do you think, Solas? Who's gonna win more, the good ones or the evil ones at the end of the day? Um, I would say uh, because this tournament doesn't seem to have that many good players, um, generally it lends itself to the good factions because they're easier to play. Especially Alvin factions. I mean, even though I'm really surprised, Solas, that you know, not many people were actually signing up with the Alvin faction for the good ones, you know? We have actually yeah. more men and dwarves, I would say, than elves, which is kind of surprising. Yeah, they may be good, but not super fun to play, I guess. Not very interesting. Yeah, kind of simple, right? So pretty much one way to go. And like with the men and stuff, you can go for more, uh, for more stuff. It's gonna be, by the way, barracks, early barracks starts here from the Man of the West player. One farm into the barracks, into the second farm. And on the other side, we will have two mills into the Hall of the Kingsman. Also makes soldiers instead of pikes, so gonna be a very aggressive rush here. Normally when you do this, you start pikes, creep a wall glare, and then attack with two battalions. So you're safe from wolves. Yeah. But... Um... What do you think? I don't think that this is gonna be a very significant rush with one soldier. Because Eternal will be able to get his trial master, maybe even his second one, by the time those Gondor soldiers will be reaching this side of the map. Yeah, um, I think you have to mess up as Angmar for our men to kill a farm here, but men can kill a lot of thrall units that Angmar has to defend with. So I think you fight the units and then you try to escape as men when your soldiers are level 2. I don't know. I never do this. I think this mill in the front can be taken down though. Look at this. Yeah, that's a bit greedy. Yeah. And that's actually great now. He will be easily able to take down this mill because the... Yeah. Warriors are moving to the to the top side. Yeah. It looks okay. like he doesn't want to even defend that. Valinko was used. Eternal has to demolish that. Uh well. He's not no demolishing his wall. Okay, that's that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. They are almost level two. And they can now easily fight that. They're being buffed. That's gonna force, if nothing else, Eternal to use War Chant maybe on those extra wars. Or he's just gonna try to beat them into the range of the fortress. But imagine if he is able to take down this mill as well. That's gonna be huge. He's also running past some orcs, so his orcs up there are taking a bit of damage. Yeah. And I don't think that they will be able to deal any damage because soldiers are already here to defend. I mean, mm -hmm. he has the war chant advantage. Oh, uh, that's... I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Oh, no. He should no, not no. be able... Great defense, I, I gotta say. Without well, using the I war think... chant. I think um, that was a bit dumb from De Rambo, though, to try to kill this mill again. I think just... Try to kill a full Gundabad battalion with those soldiers and they've done their job. Yeah, could be worse though, uh, because he was able to take down a mill, which was able to get the experience and the power points from that. Look, he has almost two power points collected already. On the other side, he was also able to defend himself. However, however, Eternal has now the war chant advantage and he mm -hmm. has two battalions of extrovers and two Gundabad warriors. So if he can go forward with them and buff them, I think he might be able to deal this amount of damage. Yes, that's the advantage Engmar has right now. Other than that, um, when everything's settled here, um, both are on four farms, both are creeping one war glare. But that's gonna be the second one from the man of the west. He was already able to creep this at the left side of the river, by the way. Oh yeah, right. There's another one. So, pretty nice. And he was, he's, you know, down one mill. So he, lo he lost a mill. So I think overall, right now, if nothing changes, uh, this is looking better for the Man of the West player. As he has 12 power points against one. But you are right, in terms of command points right now, it's even. 
But I, 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 so, I need to say that Eternal gave too much time to Rambo. What do you think? I agree. Um, also, again, as I said in game one, this playstyle from men with the archery range, you're able to get a lot of units out very fast. So as Engmar to go for the army versus army fight, it can be a bit risky. Oh, look at this. He was able to sneak one of those Gundabats, and he should be able to take down this farm uncontested. His command points kept, so pretty much. Can't get more units right now. Oh, never mind, now he has 500 command points. Warchan was used. <laughs> Rallying call is it's a on cooldown. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Why do you move out when you know the opponent has Warchan? You don't. Um, not a good trample, though. Uh, he's positioning himself quite nicely, I need to say. Yeah. Oh, wow. These axes are not attacking. He's actually taking down everything here. What, what's happening here? Without, oh. without rallying cold. That's amazing. Ah. Uh. He's gonna win this fight without rallying cold, and he can even move and use rallying cold and take down the structures. I mean, the thing is that he has only one pikeman and half of that battalion of soldiers, so... Okay, yeah. Now he is messing up, too. Yeah. His Gonda archers were running after something and getting attacked. And it's the definition of Piesta, and this is gonna yeah. kinda go even. Um, Eternal will still be able to win this fight, which was much harder than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, at least he's going for Rangers in the back of this, so... Yeah. Maybe uh, Boromir could be a great move, because I don't think that Engma has a way to, you know, get the fear resistance. That's always true, yes. So you can actually um, mess them up with the long shot plus Boromir's Horn of Gondor. But whenever you lose a fight like this as Man of the West, I don't think you can afford to save up this much money. That's true. That's First got to replace that army. So it's, I mean, he's suiciding with those Scatterbed Warriors against the Arches. Mm -hmm. Donating power points. <laughs> and always running through the works here to the top left side. But I like the way that he's using all the three pathways on the map for of Eisen to pressure. Um, soldiers are fighting against wolf riders. Nice trample. I like it. Oh, oh Trailmaster right. has been taken down. Rip. That's the thing, you know, which is the most annoying thing, which has to be the most annoying thing if you're playing Engma. I mean, it's yes. your fault, obviously, right? But <laughs> uh, you might lose the entire battalion even though they're all healthy because you just don't watch over your Trailmaster. Yeah. Always happens to me when I play Engmar in tournaments, which I used to pick all the time, so it's a guaranteed thing to happen if you play Engmar tournament, the Thrall Master of the Wolf Rider will die. Um, what do you guys mean about off host lane? This is not off host. Every game is a neutral host, so no one has a host advantage in this, in this tournament. Okay, archers are defending against Gandabats. That's the farm will be taken down by the wolf packs. And yeah, I mean, range is gonna make the difference. He has only two battalions so far, though. That's not gonna be enough. Uh, he has three battalions. Hmm. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing is that you can't buy your banner carry upgrade from your barracks or from your archery range. So with that being said, you will be, you know, getting the levels by fighting. Or you need to make the blacksmith. Waldo is coming. For the sport of the hillman. Mm -hmm. Also, snow trolls again. Nice. Second hall of the Kingsman is coming up at the same time. So, I'm not sure if Rambi should attack with this. He's very archer heavy, not much meat shield. Yeah. Um, that's Angmar's speciality to jump onto armies like that. Maybe if he gets into the same position as earlier, he can make something happen, but this is very risky. He has heal and uh, rallying call ready, and Engma player has Warchan and Felwind ready for his fight. Um, after seeing those uh, those snow trolls coming, maybe he needs to get tower guards. Counter them. What do you think? Uh, a hero first, usually. Hero first. Which hero would you go for? Faramir or Boromir? Theoden. <laughs> Theoden? For yes. the leadership, you mean, right? Yes. And besides leadership, I think Theoden is really weak. <laughs> He dies in a second somehow. Every time when I when I see him, he's pretty much dead in like a minute. He's not a good fighter, yeah. Okay, let's see. I mean, he was using 
uh, rallying Cole on this on this army, but I agree with you, there is not much melee units that can deal massive damage to the structures. Oh, it looks like you want to take the fight. Oh, nice Velvet. I like it. That's, that's a way to throw a game. Like, um, even the rangers were attacking the hall at this moment, so it didn't even get a single bit of damage in there before the wind happened. So. Aldo is leveling up. Double buff is going on, by the way. War Channel plus the leadership from this hero is making those units strong. And they are in the melee range against archers. That's the dream. Extra wars are dealing massive damage. And yeah, now he's also getting money back with the pillage ability. Every time he kills those units. Waldo is leveling up like crazy, actually. Level 3 already. Yeah, that, Four. that was an absolute disaster for men. Yeah. Didn't kill anything. Bad positioning as well. I mean, at this point, you need to kind of expect the Felvin to be ready, right? Mm -hmm. so you don't want to be in a small area like this. In which, you know, Felvin is going to mess up your entire army. Which was the case. The builder has to... Builder has been taken down as well from the Man of the West player. Top right. Now Boromir so, is coming. That's good, but um, I think that mistake from Men was so big that right now his only hope would be to throw up a statue, throw up towers, and hope that the Engmar fights into that. So you can basically take an equally good fight as just happened for Engmar. And he has no pikemen, so if those snow trolls can see those rangers, it's going to be Fiesta again. Um, yeah, I mean, he's in a really bad spot right now. I would still say that if Boromir somehow gets level 2 at the beginning of the fight, mm -hmm. there is a level 2 ranger battalion, so... Yes. Oh, he's using long there shots, getting it on cooldown for no reason. Well, seems safe to farm. You know what I don't understand, you know, sometimes when we see the arrow volley being picked, uh, I think experienced players, they see the animation coming, so they have actually a lot of time to disengage, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you don't have any way to stop the enemy units from running away, I think picking this power point ability and investing 10 power points for that is kind of a mistake. Well, that's one way to make it work, but maybe there's also so much going on on the map that you know it's unlikely the opponent looks at this army at this point, then it can also work. All right. Um, if you take a look into the power points and command points, Eternal, the Engma player, has 675 command points collected, nearly 7 power points after having all the five power point abilities from the spellbook, War Chant, Snowbind, and the Felvind. On the other side, we have Rallying Call, Heal, and almost eight power points collected. So Eternal has a lead in terms of um, power points. 625 command points only for the Man of the West player. Even though, actually, Eternal is giving him decent amount of time to regroup yeah. his army. I don't know why. Because this was a big fiesta fight around this area. Eternal won that really hard. That seems to be the main weakness of Eternal, I've realized over the fa last few games, is um, when he has the momentum, when he could just press his army advantage, he doesn't do it. He goes for more harassment, which doesn't achieve a lot, and then man has an army again. Yeah, look at this. He has now, again, four battalions of rangers, enough pikemen now protect to protect them against the, um, against the snow trolls. But now we have also Dark Rangers. He has the Banner Carry upgrade purchased, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he did. So, Felwind is available. Warchan is available. Hmm. Um, yeah, let's see. I think Rambo smells that. He's splitting his up, his army up a bit. And also, he's um, killing the Warglair with only Boromir because he really wants that Horn of Gondor. Yeah. He's gonna get it so easily. This, the map is kind of split it in two again, so everyone has still a decent amount of map control, decent amount of resource income. It's like a build-up fight right now, everyone is building up a huge army. Okay, Felvind is incoming, but he was able to dodge with the rangers, or oh, he's gonna lose all the pikemen though. All the pikemen are dead. Okay. Boromir uh, was not able to get the experience just yet. He's all about to hit level 2 though. Oh, what, are, what is he doing? Okay, it was a long shot, kind of questionable one. He's trying oh, to get no. the experience he needs desperately. Stage is coming up. Okay, we have Gundabad, or Orc Special Summon on top of the Rangers. Gondor Knights are here to trample them down. Boromir okay. is level 2. One of Gondor will be used. Mm. Stunning the units. Remember, the stun duration got reduced, right? Mm -hmm, yes, but no... Oh, Tom Bomber deal. Oh, oh Tom, Tom, okay. Go, 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 go. There we go. Nice. Nice one, man. I like it. 
Now okay. the dream would be that this Boromir is gonna be able to survive. Hopefully he needs to run now. Heal will be used anyway, so it's okay. okay. And if he gets level 4, the leadership is gonna be also great. Then I think they need then again multiple long shots from those Dark Rangers to kill the units. Then Boromir has the leadership and the Ralinko is being available on those units. Kinda an uh, even fight, I would say, Tom Bombadil saved the day. What do you think, yes, Solas? Definitely. Um, it's very strange with these two players. They always seem to have a total disaster of a fight at the start and somehow the game goes on. Yeah, now we're gonna, you know, have like two minutes break again. <laughs> They're gonna build <laughs> yeah. up a massive army once again. And then we're gonna see uh, big fights, which might hopefully or maybe decide the outcome of the game. But you need to execute, you know, when you end up winning those fights, you need to make something out of it. So you need to take down some structures, build up your lead, snowball. Okay, he's losing Gondonites to the wolves. Oh, Snowbind will be used. Shouldn't use it, but it looks like Rambo is not watching over those knights anyway. Hmm. He's gonna lose them. Okay. I, I don't like the fact, I mean, what do you think about using Snowbinds for a mill like this? Is it really necessary? Well, for a level one I wouldn't mill? use it for that mill because that's easy to replace. It's only just been built. It's not very valuable. So, yeah. I agree. Okay, now he's moving forward. Horn of Gonzo is available. And now we have even some of those ranges, or most of them are even level two or higher. Uh, <laughs> look, Warami is one man army. He's <laughs> forcing the enemy <laughs> army to retreat all alone. I like it. Okay. Um, I mean, both players are really hoping to use the gimmick of their army, right? Men wants to use horn, Angmar wants to use wind. You know, bottom is like Achilles, you know, after killing the, you know, in the movie, Troy, Troy when he was killing the first yeah. guy, and who wants more, you know? Oh, yeah. Right. Is there anyone else? He's running to the army from the Angmar, and Angmar is just, okay, you win. Both packs are focusing on the creep at the top left side. We have actually still a couple of creeps left. Uh, one work layer and uh, both trolls at the top right at bottom left side. Um, tower is coming up for Eternal at the bottom left, just like oh. for Rambo. Long shot on the rangers. Oh. Nice one. Okay. He was able to kill a lot. But, I mean, actually, all three battalions were able to survive. <laughs> okay. And he's Better running run. into the tower, so I don't know about that. Oh, here we go again. The two towers. Yeah. Towers are coming up, but he should be able to disengage. Felvin is on cooldown, so I don't think he can take the fight. Boromir didn't turn this time. He has his Horn of Gondor still available. Could be trying to save those ranges. One of them is only one unit left from the battalion. Uh, now moving through the top right side. So it's, you know, right now the main army from both the players are based on archers. Mm hmm. So I don't think that without siege weapons, you know, troll stone throwers or the trebuchets, they should they should not be able to deal massive damage to the structures. Hmm. For now, they are just I protecting think... their areas, pretty much, right? Yeah, yeah. Very main army focused, but I think in the long run, and I think people may disagree with that, but I think this favors men a little bit more. First of all, because. Engma sucks at killing their towers, which Rambo really likes. And, well, it's hard to say for whom the heroes are better, but for men they're cheaper. Another build has been sniped down, from, this time from the Engma player Eternal at the top right side. Um, yeah, like you said, I don't think that this is going to be enough to take down the battle tower. He's even getting the upgrade, fire arrow upgrade on this tower to increase the damage output. Um, now it's all about positioning. I mean, Felvin is still on cooldown for a while, so he has the upper hands now. Now he needs to do something. And we have now Rohirrim joining the fight from the stables level 2. He's going for the blacksmith. Good. I would love to see an Eomera about now. Yeah, Eomera could be nice. We can, you know, ride with them, give them leadership, make them stronger. He's the horse lord after all. He's the new king of Rohan after Theodin's death, right? Yes. Um, yeah, he's going for the forge as well, so I think they are gonna first of all try to purchase the upgrades for those units and then go for the siege afterwards. He's even buying the fire arrow upgrade for those rangers. I think, you know, rangers with the fire arrow upgrade purchase, they are also dealing decent amount of damage to the structures, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Not too much, but much more than those rangers with the ice shots. Mm -hmm. 
but he's running always into the tower here for no reason. The snow trolls are getting a lot done in the meantime. Already killed three farms or so. Yeah, the black, uh, you know, the market police is in a bad spot. Yeah. Might even lose that one. The rangers are not in protection, so. Okay. Mm. Running into the army. Never mind, he's macroing around. I like it. But they are now badly damaged, though. Luckily, they are buff level too. I mean, he has Spanner Carry Upgrade Purchase. And there are three units that are, are actually getting benefits from that. You know, obviously, Dark Rangers, Snow Throws, but also Black Numenorians. Mm -hmm. Getting more and more Arches from the level 3 Hall of the Kingsmen. Borom is really, to, uh, really close to hit level 4. That's gonna make his effect even stronger. Long shot on the Wolf Packs. Oh. Not enough to kill them. They are using all the feelings. I've got the feeling this will be a long one. I got a feeling that we're gonna see a massive fight pretty soon. Because they will have to fight. They are pretty much being command points capped now. <laughs> they can't True. make more units, you know? And for the next fight, everything is gonna be up. And I think, like you said, I also have the feeling that the Man of the West player kinda come ahead. Because yeah. he has Horn of Cons and Tom Bombadil. We have seen already previous fights. You know, you have Longshot now also with to Tom Bombadil after you, after you stun them. And especially if Eternal gonna be grouped like this. Imagine that. If Tom yes. Bombadil is in the middle of the army and getting a beautiful Sonic song off. Where is Boromir though? Boromir oh, is here is. coming. Or not coming. Having a talk with the Rangers. Warchamp was used. Eternal wants to get this fight. Uh, but Rambo has to be careful. You don't want to be grouped. And he ha he's actually putting in some nice work in splitting the army. There, there we, we go. go. Bombadil. And Horn of Gonzo. Long shots incoming. Look how many long shots. No, no. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. That went about as we thought it would. <laughs> yeah. But he's summoning the orcs on top of the rangers. Snow trolls are coming now in the back line, trampling those rangers to death. But there are so many left. He's splitting, he's, uh, he's splitting them nicely. Uh, Tom Bombadil will have his Sonic Song back up soon. Boromir now almost level 4. He's gonna get level 4 pr pretty much from this fight. And that's a big win here for the Man of the West player. Mm -hmm. Eternal may get his heroes out and he may have got power points maybe, but I don't think men might have even lost a single battalion and they will all heal up in the end. Yeah. Eternal has now the uh, Summon Giants ability ready. Oh, okay. But it's gonna be kind of pointless to use it, I think, right now. Because you can't protect them. Yeah, to be honest, in this situation, in this type of game, I think Blight is a lot better. Yeah, definitely. Especially against this big armor-based army. Yes. can deal so much damage. Uh, blacksmith, he is upgrading the Blacksmith to level 2. We'll have the chance now, now to get the, black, uh, the Forge Blades for the Rohirrim. Gonna make them stronger. He needs to use the Rohirrim now a bit more for the map control, but, you know, every pathway is kind of being protected with a tower. Oh, he's freezing the tower. Yeah, he's gonna freeze it. Oh, Witch King. Okay, that's what he was saving for. Okay, Witch King can change stuff. I mean, this is the tankiest hero, if I'm not mistaken, right? 6,000 health with level 1. It's a lot of Yes, health. I think so. Now we need to get Witch King. Uh, now, now we need to get Gandalf. Oh, long shot plus... Oh, nice catch here from Ouch. Eternal. Nice catch. Wow. Very well done. Oh, what a throw again. Yilda... Did this game just totally turn around? Yeah, wow. I think so. <laughs> the builder is gonna go down in the middle of the map. Long shot incoming from the Rangers on the snow throws. It's just not... Oh, that's not even long shot. That's arrow volley. Okay, that will burn the Giants a bit, but uh, it's not enough. Yeah, and now if he protects the Giants, the fortress might be taken down in a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a turn. Witch King is on the field, obviously, really hard to deal with. But the Giants are taking way too much damage here from the Rangers and the Pikeman. Or oh, running into the Pikeman with the Snow Trolls. Not getting punished for that, actually. Not even dying. I mean, even, even though if he doesn't take down the Fortress, he dealt a lot of damage. Yeah, like yeah a lot. this is over. Boromir is gonna die prob probably as well. Last man standing, fighting against Snow Trolls. Solo. I don't know how this could happen, you know? I don't know why he was randomly running <laughs> through the bot side with his army being, you know, caught by the uh, Felwind and Longshot. Yeah, out of nowhere Eternal just had Witch King and then also upgrades on the Hill Trolls and everything. Yeah. 
Aragorn is here though. Aragorn can maybe do something. I don't know. Okay, he's using. I think. War chant. Ultros oh. beat him, man. Yeah, they are the, freaking gonna monsters. Oh, look at the damage! It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Best infantry in the game. Oh my god! Yeah, they have, you know they have armor and plates, and now the war chant buff. And the is coming his GG. And the game is gonna be over. This series is gonna be over, and this. Third game, not gonna lie, was kind of confusing. I couldn't tell you guys what's gonna happen at the end. <laughs> it was looking so good for <laughs> Rambo. And all of a sudden, because of two little mistakes, I mean, they were not little, they were actually huge mistakes, which cost them the game. Yeah, yeah. based on archers. If you, if you play armies like them, then little mistakes are big mistakes already. Yeah, especially in the late game, you know. In the late game, when... Uh, Eternal has already full command points. He, like he has all the heroes, right? Besides the uh, besides Rokosh was, I think, everyone on the field. Rokosh was not there. All heroes were highly leveled. He has heal trolls, like you said, they are quite tanky, dealing a lot of damage. And then all of a sudden, you know, Rambo got caught by the long shots plus the Velvins and lost like all his archers, pretty much. No war chant was used on them. You need to use at least Warchan, I think, in a situation like this, to make sure that they don't die. Yeah. Yeah, that was the first game in the round of six, and now that means, if we will take a look into the current brackets, uh, that means that... Um, what is it? Eternal will now move to the quarterfinals, and he is either going to face in the quarterfinals against Fairy, who is participating mm -hmm. with men and goblins, or against LSR, who is fighting with elves and Engmar. And yeah, we have still many, many games to go. We're gonna edit that one real quick, guys. So Eternal was able to win 2 1. Beautiful. And the next series will be best of five. So quarterfinals and semifinals are best of five.